Yes, tonight is the 27th night of Ramadan, inshallah, the night of power. In the Quran, our Lord says that the night of power is better than a thousand months. This means that you can earn a reward equivalent to the worshipping of a thousand months in just one night. A great profit. The reward ratio is 30,000 to 1. Considering such a night like this, our brothers and sisters would say it wouldn't make sense to waste a night like this. I will say a collection of prayers that they will want to say Ameen to, inshallah. Let our brothers and sisters not waste this night, inshallah. The reward ratio is 30,000 to 1. Until the break of dawn, let's recite the Qur'an as much as we can. Send salam to our Prophet, peace be upon him, as much as we can. Repent as much as we can. It is a beautiful collection, inshallah. Let our online friends raise their hands. Let us say Ameen to these prayers in a sincere, heartfelt way, because we all have something we want. Our hearts have a wound, or there's a special prayer we want to make. There are some things that we really want to happen, that we pray for all the time. Everyone wants different things. This is one of the nights when that prayer we've been making for years is most likely to be answered. So the mercy of Allah is reigning tonight. We should not open umbrellas. Rather, we should open our hands to supplicate. Let's start in the name of Allah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أستغفر الله العظيم الكريم الذي لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم وأتوب إليه سبحانه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد طب القلوب ودوائها وعافية الأبدان وشفائها ونور الأبصار وضيائها وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم آمين Dear Allah, I seek refuge in you from poverty, miserliness, cowardice and laziness, from deceitful friends, from the punishment of the grave, from useless knowledge, from eyes that do not cry, from distress and sadness, from a heart that does not fear Allah, from all kinds of diseases, from the torments of life, from being in debt, from unaccepted prayers, from insatiable soul, from old age, from not being able to take care of myself, from being a tyrant, from being oppressed, from poverty that causes rebellion and wealth that drives one wild, from grieving over the past and from worrying about the future, I take refuge in you. O oh, our Lord, give us goodness in this world and in the hereafter, and protect us from the torment of hellfire. O oh, Allah, keep me alive as long as life is better for me, and let me die if death is better for me. O oh, Allah, enrich me with knowledge and improve my gentleness and morality. Bestow piety upon me, dear Allah. Take me from this world in the state of belief and faith. O oh, my Lord, let me smell paradise and grant me its blessings and do not make me smell the fire. O oh Allah, make us friends of your friends and enemies of your enemies and make us patient and thankful. O oh Allah, forgive me for all my sins, big and small, that I have committed and those that I will commit in open and in secret. O oh Allah, enrich us with the consciousness of being dependent on you. Don't let me fall into the trap of not needing you. My Lord, make me content enough to seek no one but you. O oh Allah, treat our souls with your glory, our hearts with your beauty, our lives with your wisdom, our mistakes with your mercy. O oh Allah, have mercy on your slaves, whose disease has increased and become difficult to heal, and who have no refuge or hope other than you. O oh Allah, send salutations and greetings upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him your beloved, the sea of your heavenly light, and the conveyor of your message. O oh my Lord, let me feel your presence. Show the path to your pleasure with the light of your grace. O oh our Lord, we believed in the book you sent to us, and we followed the messenger, so write us down among the witnesses. O oh Allah, you can make the difficult and hard, easy and gentle whenever you want, so make my hard work easier, O oh Lord. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from shirk, doubt, quarreling, bad manners and bad suspicion. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from your wrath, the evil of your creation and the inspirations of devils. O oh Allah, help me against the severity of death and the agony of death. O oh Allah, protect our Ummah from all material and moral dangers. 
O oh Allah, I want you to expel the evils of the enemy community, and I seek refuge in you from their evil. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the evil of bad morals, bad deeds, and the soul's wrong desires. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from being contemptible and humiliated in this world and in the hereafter. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from being denied your blessings, poverty, the torment of the grave, and the torments of life and death. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the evil of every living thing and from the evil eye of every envious person. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the burden of debt and from being troubled by uncivilized people. O oh Allah, make the Qur'an a companion for us in this world, a friend in the grave, an intercessor on the day of judgment, and a light on the path over hell, al-Sirat. O oh Allah, grant me forgiveness, have mercy on me, because you are the forgiver and the merciful. O oh our Lord, forgive me, my parents, and all believers on the day when we will rise to account in the hereafter. O oh our Lord, we have believed. Forgive our sins. Give us salvation from the torment of fire. O oh Allah, it is to you alone that I complain about the weakness of my strength, my lack of resources, and my insignificance in the eyes of people. O oh the most merciful of the merciful, you are the Lord of those who are in difficult and troubled situations and those who have been weakened under oppression, and you alone is our Lord. O oh my Lord, if these calamities and tribulations that have come upon me are not due to your anger and rage against me, then I won't worry about all the troubles I go through, and I will endure them all. I would, however, be much happier with your mercy. I seek refuge in the light of your face by which all darkness is dispelled, both in this world and in the hereafter. My Lord, I appeal for your mercy. I repent and seek forgiveness until you are pleased. I know that there is no power nor strength except with you. O oh my Lord, I seek refuge in you from the whisperings of devils, and I seek refuge in you, my Lord, lest they should come near me. O oh Allah, I ask you for guidance, piety, chastity, and contentment. O oh Allah, I want your love, and the love of those who love you, and the actions that will lead me to your love. O oh Allah, I ask you for the good that your slave and prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has asked you for, and I seek refuge in you from the evil from which your slave and prophet, peace be upon him, sought refuge. O oh Lord, make me the most inclined of those who turn to you, the closest of those who approach your mercy. O oh Lord, Help me against all kinds of plotters and mischief makers. O oh, our Lord, give us mercy from yourself and show us a way out of the troubled situation we are in. O oh, our Lord, pour upon us patience. Let us die as Muslims. O oh, Allah, beautify me with the ornament of faith. Make faith a symbol of guidance for me. O oh, Allah, give me strength to my ears and eyes. Make them obedient to you. Help me against people who do me wrong. O Lord, lift up my heart and ease my task for me. Loosen the knot, the defect from my tongue, so that they may understand my speech. O Allah, remove our troubles with the blessings of the Qur'an. Heal our patience by means of the Qur'an. O Lord, forgive me. Accept my repentance. You are the merciful who accepts repentance very much. O Allah, bless the food we eat and make it beneficial for us. Our Lord, make us not object of trial for the wrongdoing people. Forgive us, for you are the absolute ruler. O oh my Lord, I seek refuge in you from asking you for something that I have no knowledge of. Praise be to Allah, who has made the water clean, a blessing, and made Islam a divine light for us. O oh Allah, help me to remember you, to thank you, and to worship you in the best manner. O oh Allah, forgive your slaves who raise their hands and beg you at Mount Arafat. Include us among them too. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the deterioration of my health and well-being and from your punishment and pain covering me. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from undesirable manners, deeds and desires. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah. We worship only Him. We do not worship anyone but Him even if the disbelievers dislike it. O oh Allah, bless us in what you have provided us with and protect us from the punishment of the fire. Indeed, my prayers, my sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah alone.
the Lord of all that exists. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from the punishment of the grave. O Allah, you are the one who divided the sea for Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. You are the one who saved him from drowning. Grant me salvation too. O Allah, protect me with your might. Provide me in abundance. Make me one of those who are obedient to your commands. O Allah, make the best part of my life the last part of it, and the best deeds the last of them. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from the torment of the hellfire and its punishment. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from being defeated by my enemies and their rejoicing. O Allah, strengthen my eyes, show me the tricks of my enemies, and make me victorious over them. O Allah, put your hope in my heart. Don't let me put my hope in anyone but you. Don't make me ask for anything from anyone but you. O Allah, I ask you to show me dreams that are true, beneficial, harmless, and not false. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from the malice and evil of every bad person. O Allah, make me from amongst the successful. Do not make me one of the wicked who have been banished from your mercy. O Allah, protect me by clinging on to your rope. Provide me abundantly. O Allah, make me one of those who are obedient to your command. Make me one of those who follow your advice. O Allah, protect me with your mercy from bad words, lies, and blasphemy. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from living without your consciousness, from vulgar desires, and from lowly inclinations. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from bad deeds and transgressions of my soul. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from the devils making the evil look beautiful and desirable to me. I take refuge in you. I take refuge in you. O Allah, cleanse me from sins as a white garment is cleansed of dirt. O Allah, increase my desire to read the Qur'an which was sent down as the truth. Make its recitation illuminate my eyes and a source of healing. Make it heal me, O Allah. O Allah, grant us the ability to feel the goodness of La ilaha illallah. There is no one worthy of worship but Allah in all our body cells. Grant it, O Allah. O my Lord, I seek refuge in you from being caught unprepared for death and from being among the heedless. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from laziness, vain work, and wasting my wealth. Our Lord, make our way clear until we see you in the hereafter and remove all the obstacles that stand in our way. O Allah, grant me the ability to do good deeds and make my deeds for your sake only. Help me avoid showing off. Our Lord, rip out from our hearts pride, selfishness, and excuses for committing sins. O our Lord, prepare our days for our future and make our lives prosperous and full of forgiveness. O Allah, forgive us and those we have slandered. My Lord, grant me to chant your name with my heart and tongue and let me die chanting and praising your name. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from turning your blessings into disbelief and from being ungrateful. O Lord, when you give wealth, give enjoyment too. When you give strength, give wisdom too. When you give modesty, give dignity too. When you give authority, give discernment too. O oh my Lord, we are only a few young people behind the YouTube channel of Towards Eternity. On social media, we are delivering your cause, the cause of your Prophet, peace be upon him, and facts about faith to millions of young people. We want to raise it to billions. Make it easy for us, O oh Allah. My Lord, we are trying to tell all the countries, cities, and homes about your cause. We are trying to make your cause heard. Raise our voice, O Lord. Give us strength, O Lord. And my Lord, there are people out there right now, our brothers and sisters, that have not heard about the facts of faith. So they are drifting towards atheism, towards denial. Some are involved in unlawful affairs. They want to come out of sinful life but cannot. We want to reach out to them. Please give us the strength, O Allah. We have Muslim brothers and sisters who are currently living under oppression in Jerusalem. Help us, O Allah, against the unjust people who persecute them. Ameen. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Salatun tunjina biha. Min jami' al-ahwali wal-afaa. وتقضي لنا بها جميع الحاجات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات 
وترفعنا بها عندك أعلى الدرجات وتبلغنا بها أقصى الغايات من جميع الخيرات في الحياة وبعد الممات آمين يا مجيب الدعوات آمين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة مع الصلوات